This video explains how to specify the data types of the columns of a pandas data frame when importing this data frame from a CSV file into Python. So without much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then in the next step, we need to use the data frame constructor to create an example data frame. So for this, we can use the code that you can see in the second code box. And after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is created. And we can also print this data frame below the code box using the print function. And then you can see that we have created a data frame containing six rows and the four columns x1, x2, x3, and x4. Now in the next step, I'm exporting this data frame to a CSV file on my computer. And we can do that using the toCSV function, as you can see in the next line of code. So after running this line of code, a new CSV file called data.csv is created on my computer. Now at this point, we are set for the example. So let's assume that we want to import this CSV file to Python, and we also want to specify the data types of each column in our pandas data frame that we are going to import into Python. And if we want to do that, we can use the read CSV function, as you can see in the next lines of code. And within the read CSV function, we need to specify the file name that we want to import. So in this case, we want to import the CSV file data. And then, this is the important part, we need to specify the dtype argument. And to this argument, we need to assign the data types that we want to assign to the different columns in our data frame. So in this case, I want that the first column x1 has the integer data type. The second column x2 should have the character string data type. The third column should also be an integer and the fourth column, x4, should be a string. So after running these lines of code, the data frame is imported. And we can also check the data types using the dtypes attribute of our new data frame. And as you can see, the data types of our imported data frame are the integer data type for the column x1. The column x2 is a string. This is shown as an object, but this stands for the string data type. The third column x3 is an integer, and the fourth column x4 is a string. So the data types of our imported data frame correspond to the data types that we have specified when we have used the dtype argument. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.